Good morning, and we'd like to welcome in Carson Koch, freshman women's cross-country athlete of the week from Cedarville University. Carson, you finished sixth in your college debut and third at the Friendship Invitational. Can you talk a little about your confidence progressing as the fall season continues? I think coming in as a freshman, I was a little bit nervous knowing that I'm now in college and it's a whole new beast than it was in high school, but I think my team gives me a lot of confidence and Coach Bo gives me a lot of confidence um, by having us do workouts that really challenge us. So coming to the meet, it, it was kind of good to know what my splits were and to just go out there and have fun racing. So it, I guess I've gotten more confident as I've gone through the season. Now, I understand you're from Maine, is that correct? Yep. What, is, uh, what, what drew you to the Midwest from uh, the northeast point of the country? Um, that's, that's a tricky question because Cedarville was not my number one school. I wasn't entirely sure that I wanted to go so far away, but um, visiting and just seeing what a Christ-centered campus Cedarville was really turned me on to wanting to go here. And then in addition to that, talking to Coach Bo and seeing what a wonderful growing program um, cross country is here and in combination with the academics that Cedarville can boast about um, really made me want to come here, even though it is very far away from my home. Now Cedarville hosts quite a few cross country events at the Elvin R. King course. In your mind, what makes it such a great laid out and what does it mean for the program to be able to welcome in so many schools from around the country? Um, it's really wonderful that we're able to have so many racers on our course. Um, people spend hours and hours, our coach and the boys coach and maintenance people really spend um, a ton of their time making sure that the course is pristine and that everything is where it's supposed to be for the racers. So it's really special to be able to say that this is our home course because it's got a nice layout, it's not confusing, and um, it's fairly flat with some gentle hills, so it, it makes for good times. It's it makes me proud to be from here to have such a nice course. At the All Ohio event that you guys just hosted last week, um, there's quite a few teams, including Division One, with over 500 runners. Uh, is it easy to feel overwhelmed a little bit, or how do you personally separate yourself from the outside noise before you begin to race? Um, I would definitely say I was overwhelmed. I've never raced with that many girls in one race before, and it was kind of scary at the beginning. I was kind of picturing myself getting stepped on or elbowed or things like that. But like I said, our course is built for um, the capacity of that many people. So the start really wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. Um, progressing through the race, it was strange to see so many people ahead of me because in smaller races, it's easier to judge where you're at because most of the time you can count the people ahead of you or at least kind of get an approximation of how many people are ahead of you. But this time it just seemed like I must be in the back of the pack because there were so many people ahead of me. So I just, um, I think what helped me in this race with so many runners was to focus on my splits and to make sure that I was getting the times that I needed to make my goal. And that kind of helped me not be overwhelmed by the amount of people that were ahead of me. Uh, before the season started, your teammate Alexandra Archambault was glowing about Cedarville's freshman class. How do you guys think uh, th this unit has acclimated itself so far to the team and the college season? Well, I think um, our team in comparison to last year is, there. there is no comparison to the team we had last year. Alex is phenomenal and she will be running phenomenal times as she always does um, this season. And we have Olivia Esmond-Shade coming back from injuries along with um, a multitude of girls that are in a very close pack. Um, so we're hoping to be very competitive this year. We're trying to keep down our injuries, um, stay away from things like anemia, and just really um, stay healthy, stay motivated, and keep good motivation for running this year and really be a unit. I think that that was one thing that helped us at All Ohio is we had a lot of girls that pack ran together, which is really good for um, just team encouragement and helping us to do our best. So we're really excited about this season. Great. Well, Carson, thank you again for joining us this morning, and best of luck to you and the Lady Jackets as you get ready for the Wilmington Classic on the 17th. Thank you.